maintain really good speed and you'll get better fuel economy. You want to be predictable. Ooh, I can feel the wind pushing the car. It's crazy. It's like it's wiggling back and forth. It's been really windy today. So I'm going to go ahead and get over to the right lane. I try to stay as smooth as possible. Um, the biggest drive I've done is like from Montreal back to the United States on the 401. That was pretty cool. Speed control is pretty nice. They have rest areas. A rest area is uh, where you can basically rest um, for, you know, as long as you want. It's safe and secure. They have cameras there. You can get some food, charge your phone up. Um, but also they can be kind of dangerous because you have really weird people kind of hanging out there. Uh, <laughs> I'm serious. So um, I think I have some content early on. I'll try to find it and maybe I can get it up for you guys. But in one mile, the next one is 28 miles. My speed is good, I'm in a good flow. I almost wanna to go to the rest area to show you what it's like. But what I'll do um, when I swing back a day from now, I'll go to a rest area, I'll show you what it's like it is at night. Um, I'm at a good pace. Now I see this car down here, I'm really looking ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and get over to the left lane. But you have a parking area for semi trucks and trailers. And you have a parking area for cars and we know um, trucks are uh, the leaders in logistics for for basically the whole world so they have designated areas for cars and trucks I'm down to 292 miles fuel range I'm at about 23 mpg miles per gallon lifted my foot again so I guess when you lift your foot it gets this crazy reading on the computer then it's got to recalculate I do feel a lot better uh, just talking to you guys kind of bringing you along for the ride and I'm going around this curve if you look to the left you'll end up in a ditch but if you look around the curve and the flash and the, the reflectors you're good, here's another truck. I'm staying away from them. It's a nice color truck though. And you need to tell your loved ones, hey, I'm leaving. I'll be there five hours from now, six hours from now. And unexpectedly, if you get tired, or ill in a car, you gotta pull over. That's happened to me a couple times and it was not it was not good. I think I had some bad food at a little restaurant. Next thing you know, I was puking my guts out near Indiana. So it was not healthy. My speed is good. I'm nice and smooth. I like how I'm driving. And you gotta be honest with you, if you're tired, then that's when you've gotta pull over um, and rest. Yeah, I'm a little inconsistent with my speed. First I go real fast and real slow, so it just means I'm getting a little bit tired again. Looking ahead around the curve.
has some of the Celsius. It, I got the watermelon flavor. It's not too bad. Could have a lot of caffeine there or all natural. I've never had a monster or energy drink. If you guys have, let me know in the comments. But I'm not really a big energy drink person at all. It just uh, really jacks up my heart rate and I start sweating and it's not really healthy for you. This is a really smooth open patch. see these trucks merging out so I'm in the left lane I'm not even gonna mess with all these people yep there's that blinker on they're coming out 290 miles fuel range I used to do some test driving for a uh, company that I can't Whoa, that's pretty dangerous with that car. That's crazy. 